Maxisys ATIS with diagnostic equipment and auxiliary tools covers the complete diagnostics capabilities of Maxisys. Also provides comprehensive and accurate ATIS calibrations. This video will demonstrate the assembly steps of the Maxisys ATIS calibration frame, pattern board, and target board holder. After opening the calibration frame box, remove foam board. Review packing list and ensure all needed parts are present. Assemble the calibration frame. Place the two base holders on a flat, level surface with the knobs resting on the ground. Insert the base crossbar into the slots of the base holders. Insert the bolt with washers. Screw them with the Hexel wrench, 6 mm. Turn over the base. Rotate each of the four hand knobs clockwise to secure the base to the ground. Align each of the four screw holes on the lifter with those on the base. Position the bolt with washers. Tighten with the Hexel wrench, 6 mm, and ensure the base and the lifter are firmly attached. Assemble the crossbar. Remove the crossbar from the packing box. Place the crossbar on the lifter with the pins on the lifter inserted into the holes on the back of the crossbar. Insert 12 bolts into the screw holes of the crossbar and tighten them with the Hexel wrench, 4 mm. Ensure the crossbar is securely attached to the lifter. Insert the sliding laser plate into the crossbar slide. Insert bolts and tighten them with the Hexel wrench, 4 mm. Attach the tape boxes on both ends of the crossbar and tighten the bolts with the Hexel wrench, 4 mm. Insert the shaft on the round handle into the slot on the back of the lifter. Rotate the handle to ensure the lifter bar's height can be easily adjusted. Or you can connect the power adapter to the lifter. Turn on the switch. Remove the round handle. Press and hold the lift button to ensure the lifter bar's height can be easily adjusted. Assemble the pattern board and patterns. Attach the two handles to the back of the pattern board by the bolts with washers and tighten with the Hexel wrench, 4 mm. Align the two screw holes on the bubble level with the holes on the back of the pattern board. Insert bolts and tighten with the Hexel wrench, 4 mm. Insert the two poles on both sides of the pattern board into the slots on each side of the lifter and tighten the knob. The pattern on the pattern board is for Volkswagen Lane Departure Warning Calibration. To perform calibration of the Mercedes-Benz Lane Departure Warning System, attach the magnetic Mercedes LDW pattern to the board. This pattern should lay flat against the board with no bubbles or wrinkles. Assemble the target board holder. Align the screw holes on the connecting bar with the screw holes on the left and right poles. Insert the bolts and tighten with the Hexel wrench, 5 mm. Insert the bolts into the screw holes on bar brackets and tighten with the Hexel wrench, 3 mm. Ensure the connecting bar is firmly attached to the left and right poles. Place the slide bar with the bubble spirit level facing up. The levels should be on the same side as the handle. Align the four screw holes on the slide bar with those on the left and right poles. Insert bolts and tighten with the Hexel wrench, 5 mm. Insert the left and right poles into the slots on each side of the lifter of the calibration frame. Tighten the hand knobs. Insert the two pins on the slider into the holes on the back of the target board, ensuring the ring on the back of the target plate is at the top. 
Attach the clip on the slider to the ring on the pattern board. Turn the knob on the slider to secure the target plate is in place. If you have any questions or concerns about assembling your Autel ATIS equipment, please contact our Autel support team. Thank you for watching this video and for being a valued Autel customer.